All right, guys, welcome to the channel. Hit that intro. Okay, guys, so you saw the beginning. I had some sweet Italian mild sausages, and this is what I'm doing right now. I have my sausages in my pan, and what I'm doing is just chopping them up. Got my stove on a medium, like on a medium low right here, and I'm going over to this. This is my butter. I got some unsalted butter and some garlic powder. Now, I wanted to use minced garlic or fresh garlic, but honey, I couldn't get my hands on either one, so I used what was in house. Okay, so I got some garlic powder. Butter, um, some melted butter, unsalted butter, and take some um, Italian seasoning. You know, not a whole lot, just enough. <laughs> I just, yeah, I eyeball everything right at this point right here. So I'm just mixing up my um, flavors, my unsalted butter, my garlic powder, and my Italian seasoning, and getting them all mixed up and ready because this is going to be my flavoring on my dough. Going back to my sausages, they're almost ready. I'm chopping them up nice and, nice and fine, you know, as fine as I could get them. I love me a good Italian mouth sausage on some pizza. Now, to my cookie sheet, um, I am taking um, a piece of parchment paper and using some Pillsbury pizza crust. I put that on the um, pan and spread it out some, guys. You really don't need a rolly pin or anything because you're just going to use it the way it is and just spread it out some. Ooh, look at those little fat little arms. <laughs> and you're going to take your um, your garlic, your garlic um I want to say sauce, your garlic sauce, your butter garlic sauce right here. Uh, yeah. Get a pastry brush. Every time I'm about to do something, I say I got to get a pastry brush. And then when I don't need it for a recipe, I forget to go order me one. I have to order me a pastry brush. But until then, you know, just use the back of a spoon, whatever you have, or one of those rubber spatulas. And you just want to get that garlic sauce on there, spread it all throughout the pizza crust. And that's what she looked like right there. Looking good, looking good, okay? She looking good. Now, I have my mixture right here. I have some turkey, pepperoni, and my Italian sausage in the bowl sitting to the side. And I'm going to go in with some mozzarella cheese. And I'm just going to put down mozzarella cheese on one side of this um, piece of dough. Much As much as you want. You know, there's no limit. You know, not that much, but as much as you want. Because we will be topping it with more mozzarella cheese. Y'all, these are stuffed cheesy um bread sticks okay so i'm going in with my with my filling and of course my filling of choice is turkey um pepperonis and italian mild sausages and i'm going to actually use all of it you don't have to overstuff it or you know it's up to you remember i always say your kitchen your way my kitchen my way and I'm just going in with my ingredients. And we're going to do what? Top her with more cheese. Somebody said cheese. Yeah, she said cheese. So this is what? A stuffed cheesy stick. Okay? Stuffed cheesy sticks. Look at that. Looking good, y'all. And at first, I want to say that so this is not my original recipe. You know, just like a lot of recipes, we look at Instagram. We look at TikTok. I actually saw this on Instagram. And I was like, oh, my. <laughs> that's why i was like oh my so we just folding it over helping the portion paper help me fold it over guys so we just folding it over and i'm just pinching it all together and what i didn't show you guys see how you pinching it together just pinching it together just like that and you're gonna add some more of that um garlic sauce on there that garlic butter sauce you know just gonna make everything just taste so good remember to use unsalted butter guys this is an easy recipe. It's a quick recipe. Um, you don't have to make the home. You don't have to make homemade crust. It's something simple, and I think your family gonna love it. You could fill it up with anything you want because they're stuffed cheesy sticks. So you know, you know what your family eat, and you know what they like. So I actually moved it um over into the center of the tray. Um, by using a parchment paper, I pulled it over to the center of the tray. And right here, I couldn't find my pizza cutter, and I know I got one. But you want to pre-cut. Don't go all the way down, but you just want to pre-slice 
your cheesy stick so when it bake it'll bake with those slices so when it comes out you know exactly where to go to to make those um initial slices but so what we're doing right here i am pre-slicing um not too big not too small just a nice size i'm pre-slicing my um cheesy sticks and yeah and you can do this you don't even have to do the filling you could use uh fill your cheese sticks up with all types of um cheese you know mozzarella cheese um some shredded cheese you know whatever how you like your cheese sticks so this is what we doing i'm at the last piece and now after that is done guys remember if you got a piece of cutter use your piece of cutter it'll, it'll work more better um taking your cheese yes more cheese somebody in the comments say more cheese yes more cheese <laughs> they're cheesy sticks and that's that's the effect we're going for here so i'm just putting as much cheese you know i know my family and i put those in the oven on 400 for about 20 minutes guys and then when they came out guess what i did put more of that garlic butter on there i had of course i had to make a little bit more but i put more of that garlic butter on there just because i can and make it the house smell good y'all the house smell good and y'all know football season is around the corner stop playing you know your family wants something new okay if you can make it and save you some money, go for it. And see how the slices are pre-cut? I'm just going into the slices. Now, you can cut all the way down. Cut all the way down. Now, I'm cutting fully through. And just like this, you have that um, piece of cutter. And you see all the crispy edges and everything, baby? When I said the house smelled good, these came out looking good. You know, social media will make you do it. Every time you find a recipe, you be like, oh, I got to make that mine. Okay. This is worth making. Um, they came out amazing. I actually made two because one of my sons don't eat um, pork. So I actually made a um, pepperoni one. But I wanted to stuff one with the um, I love Sasha's pieces. Look at that. Y'all, look at that. She is beautiful. Wait for it. Look at that. And you're talking about how much cheese? A whole lot of cheese, okay? Mmm, look at that. And dip it in your favorite marinara sauce. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that bell to be notified. And see you in the next video.